What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and the Las Vegas Metro Police Department just cannot get their story straight for the life of them. I gotta say, you know, covering the news on a daily basis and just going through so much information on a daily basis and seeing how much of this information is hidden from the public, how much of this information is suppressed so news about this information doesn't get out there the way other news does. Seeing important and interesting news stories casted to the side so the news can focus on things that are more divisive, things that divide us more, things that don't even matter in the grand scheme of things. But I guess that's just the way life is. But I gotta say, after doing this for a while now, and I've always been someone that looked into the news and did my own research, but now that I constantly do it for a living, like 24-7, I got to say, I am questioning everything. Like, I am looking back on everything I thought I knew, all of these historical events, and I'm questioning the legitimacy of everything that we think we know is real, or that we thought actually happened, in reality, it probably happened a different way. I know some of you all know how I feel. But anyways, back to this Las Vegas UFO story. Because I cannot get enough of this story. And it's funny because every day it's just, just a little bit more, a little bit more that makes you question things even more. And slowly the truth is starting to come out. The Las Vegas Metro Police Department was claiming that they never put up security cameras at the home where the family allegedly saw aliens in their backyard. They were sticking to that story for a long time. But now, they've acknowledged that they came and collected the cameras. The cameras are gone. The surveillance cameras that were put up at this house, they're gone. Now, they've acknowledged that they came and collected the cameras, but they haven't formally acknowledged that they put them up in the first place. And seeing as the timing that when all of this happened, it shows you that the original excuse that they had was a blatant lie. And we will get to more of that in just a moment. First, I want you all to watch this clip and then I'll be right back with more thoughts. But, 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 Make sure you hit that like button. It's totally free. You enjoy the videos. I enjoy making them. Let me know how much you like it down below. Drop a comment and hit that thumbs up. Let's roll this clip and then I'll be right back with more thoughts. Is, I've got 10 seconds left. Is there anything that can convince you that this is true at this point in this investigation? I don't think, the, I said this last night, I don't believe the family's uh, lying. I believe they're telling the truth. They believe they believe they saw something. As far as what the Metro Police are doing, they have a pattern and practice of cover-ups and lies over the years. So now with this is almost four weeks, it's over a month now since this thing happened. Now they're starting to put out press releases and stuff, but they haven't put out press releases, given a verbal statement. I, I don't trust anything right now. The timeline doesn't fit with these cameras. They put them in on the 19th, and I was told that the only way they knew about it, the undersheriff, was my podcast. Mm. And then they were pulled out two or three days later. Well, if they were concerned for the family's safety, why, why did they them pull out? them out? Right. And why, why did they put so them back quickly? in now since there's people over at the house? And the, yeah, because the speculation is growing and there may be more looky-loos. Um, makes perfect sense. Uh, Doug Papa, thanks so much for being on again. Really appreciate it. Have a nice night, uh, Ashley. So as you heard there, when you take a step back and you look at the timeline, nothing makes sense. For one, why did the Las Vegas Metro Police Department lie about putting these cameras up? What were they trying to cover up? What were they really trying to catch on video? What were they trying to see? Did they believe that aliens were walking around in that backyard? Did they think that this family maybe found something that crashed into their backyard? They were obviously looking at the family and looking at this house. They weren't worried about anything else because if you look at the timeline, by the time the story is going viral and people are actually showing up to this home, the cameras were taken down after they were called out by a local investigative journalist, a private investigator. 
So, the timing shows you that the cameras were never about protecting this family. The cameras were never about capturing people who came over to bother them about UFOs. The cameras were there because someone gave the command to the Homeland Security Division of the Las Vegas Metro Police Department. Someone gave them the command to put up those cameras because they viewed this as maybe a legitimate risk to Homeland Security. So that shows you they were taking this story way more seriously than I think most people are which is one of the most awkward things I think I've ever heard. Usually you would think the public would be taking this more seriously, but the public is ready to write this off as a hoax. Meanwhile, the Department of Homeland Security is out here installing surveillance cameras, watching this family. Hell, they're probably watching this video. Who knows, maybe I am the alien that crashed in that backyard. But in all seriousness, this is even more of a cause for concern. And in my opinion, this just adds more to the legitimacy of this story. Everyone that I've heard from so far seems to believe that this family is telling the truth. Now, because this family is telling the truth, that doesn't mean that they actually saw 10-foot aliens. But I think this family saw something. What that something was, of course, we'll probably never know. But maybe the Department of Homeland Security knows. Maybe they're looking for something else. You know what I mean? Maybe they know exactly what they're looking for. And that's why the cameras were put out. Wouldn't it be scary to think that 10-foot aliens escaped from some type of government faci um, facility and they're running around Las Vegas? That would be scary. But I don't think that's what's happening here. Or is it? But in all seriousness, I'm glad that we're getting confirmation now about these cameras. It's really awkward that they finally came around to half-assedly acknowledging that they put the cameras up by acknowledging that they took them down a few days later. Like, oh, forget the fact that we lied about the cameras. Sorry, they're already taken down. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here, folks. Don't worry about that 16 minutes of footage that we redacted from the body cam. And don't worry about the hours of surveillance footage that we captured at this house. And you know, in my opinion, if they go out and put up these big security cameras on the house, you know, where you can obviously see them, just think about what actually happened to this house. I mean, really be real with yourself. If they went so far as to install these I'm not going to say they're huge surveillance cameras, but they were visible from the street. If they went so far to install cameras like that, do you think they don't got little cameras? I guarantee you that house is probably bugged. And, you know, you may think that's far-fetched, but look at the situation we have on our hands. And you have to think about this as well. This is another crazy part, and this is why I say this story doesn't make sense. They haven't necessarily really acknowledged that they put the cameras up. They acknowledged that they took them down, but they still are claiming that they never went back to the house. None of it makes sense. They're not sticking to their story. They're not, they're, <laughs> none of it makes sense. Las Vegas Metro Police Department claims they only went out to the house once. But in order to go out there and put up the cameras, they would have had to go twice. And in order to go back and take the cameras down, that's at least three times. They acknowledge they took the cameras down, but they won't acknowledge that they went back to the house. There's some type of weird mix up here. And it's so blatantly obvious that we're being lied to that it's hard for me to believe that they just think we're this stupid. It's almost like they purposely want us to know. It's like they're putting out these threats for us to grab one and latch on to on purpose because maybe they want us talking about this story. Because if not, I can't think of any other reason why they couldn't concoct a better story. I, I can't think of any reason why the lies would just be so easily debunked. You know, like they said that they didn't have a Department of Homeland Security Division. Their website, it's right there on their website. 
It's a frustrating story, but this is what we deal with. These agencies, law enforcement, they can just sit here and lie to your face and laugh at you. And, you know, just act like you're crazy when you're pointing out the obvious holes in their stories. Let me know your thoughts though down below. While I'm down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.